boys? Uh, a couple. I, I would say number one, it felt like a first scrimmage in terms of a tackling standpoint. Um, and, and what you can't do as a coach, you can't get this surprise. It's the first time you go live, and all of a sudden, um, you have some misses that way. So um, it's good correctable stuff and, and stuff to look on film. But obviously, those, those moments become real gross. You know, if you, if you picture you know, a, a game day and then some of those missed opportunities. So anyway, that, that was uh, that's why you scrimmage them. Um, that's one. I, you know, I think uh, I've had a lot of guys out over the course of camp. And, you know, the, the biggest frustration was guys get opportunities because of that. They don't take advantage of the opportunities. And that, that happened a little bit as, as you go back and watch the scrimmage. But, you know, our scrimmages, we, we look at, we scrimmage a lot every day. Mm-hmm. I mean, and we, we do a lot, a lot of game-like deals. We move the ball. So you got to respond to, you know, an offense getting a first down. So for our scrimmages, other than the live piece, it's kind of our, our, our norm. So we, you put it in the bank with the other, at that point, I think, eight practices maybe leading up to that. Um, so it's good evaluate. We'll teach, you know, evaluating the kids and then obviously teaching off of it. So I thank God it wasn't a game. Long story short. <laughs> Any standouts? Uh, standouts going back to the scrimmage. I mean, the, the guy that continues to stand out every day is Tooley. You know, uh, he, he's a guy that uh, a couple guys being out has played, I think, three different st- spots on our defensive line. And, um, you know, all he does is, you know, lead from the front. All he does is play hard. And, um, so, I, you know, without question, has been a real standout for Kellen Bullock. has had some real flash moments with course in camp, uh, as well as Makai Blackman. Um, it's, and, and, there's, and there's several others. So, um, you know, we, we got to make sure that, uh, you know, the rest of the group kind of raises to their, their level. How's Dejon Benton doing? You know, Dejon has had a really good camp. You know, he, he shows some flashes in the spring. Um, and, and, you know, what does that mean? Does that, that, that mean is, you know, if you evaluate everybody's best plays, every, most of these kids can make a highlight film themselves in practice and kind of get, um, I guess, mesmerized by it, but that may not be accurate, you know. So, um, but coming back in the fall, I, I just thought very more intentional about everything that he does. You know, another one is to, you know, I don't know the call or, or some of those mental lapses. And he's got some quickness about him and some physicality about him. And so when he does it, um, he, he, he shows well. And then it, what, what happens with, with guys like that typically is when they don't, it, it stands out real uh, real clearly too. You know, If you have the quickness and you don't use the quickness, we call that a low fear. You know? So sometimes you got to be careful what you show us because then we expect it all the time. But um, I, I've been impressed with him. I mean, he, he's got to really take advantage of the next couple weeks. That rush hand position is still pretty thin just with injuries. And how concerned are you just about some of those guys not maybe getting the reps during camp? Yeah, I'm very concerned. You know, I'm, I'm more concerned for the individuals because you get better you know, being a football player by, by playing football. So you, we don't get these last two weeks back. And, and you know, very quickly we transition into game week. And there's a lot that goes into game week. And what, what doesn't is a, a lot of reps. You know, and you only get so many. And we try to maximize that. Believe me, we, we, probably, we, we take pride in practice at a very high level during games. But, um, so that's been disappointing, you know, and I'm, 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 I hurt for those guys that uh, they're not able to go. But some other guys have had to step up. And, you know, and what, what it has done for us is, you know, have to, to move some checkers around. Um, and so I've trained several guys there. You know, a guy like a Thule go out there, okay? And he loves standing up, so, you know, he's tickled to death by it. But um, anyway, give, give him an opportunity to train a few more guys. So that, that, that position's got to get shored up here really, really quick. Or, uh, um, and it's going to be an interesting uh, first couple of weeks. What's your initial impression of Eric Gentry? Uh, very impressed with Eric. Uh, you can tell he's played football at our level. You know, um, the difference between a freshman and a sophomore, there is there, there is no greater dif- difference. You know, um, and, and sometimes we, we minimize that as coaches and expect these high-level high school guys to come in here and be grown men. There's a huge difference between 18 and 19. You know, and so you see that in him. And I, I give him a lot of credit. You know, he didn't have the spring with us. You know, summer is good. We can we can do some things. We max out the time that way. But but, but coming out here and picking up as well as he has in a short period of time uh, has uh, been, been a real bright spot for us. So we're, we're excited to have a teacher way down in some of those things, but, but, but it's physical and uh, that works out about Eric. Hopeful that Corey and Romello might be able to get back here soon? Or? Yeah, I mean, and, and, and I hope they hope to, to be back soon. You know, the football doesn't wait for you. You know, we, we, that, that Saturday's coming, you know, and, and on and on it goes. So Noah will be uh, excited coach when they get back on the grass. Seems like- Are the gassers? Uh, are regularly scheduled parts of practice? You know, it is. They... It is. And so, you know, what, what you got to protect against as a coach is say a bunch of things, put up a PowerPoint, say we're going to do all this. We're going to be the best condition defense in the country. And they just hope it happens, you know. And so the, these uh, these camp weeks, you know, are designed to, to, to kind of establish who you are and what you are. We don't play a game on Saturday. Um, we're supposed to be sore. 
Um, and so we, we uh, take advantage of the opportunity to do some conditioning during this time of year. And the, the guys have, for the most part, responded to it. And, you know, we'll add some, some additional ones if, if there's, there's certain moments of practice where we don't feel like running. So it's run during or run after. There's, uh, there's some training there, some awareness training attached to it as well. But, but, but no, we do it every day.